Good day. My assigned report is Under the Challenges to Digital Literacy Education. I am Ruben Juarez and I am a third year BSC student of NDMC. First aspect or the aspect belongs to this are the following. Think multidisciplinary. So, how can educators integrate media and digital literacy in a subject as abstract as mathematics, for example? The answer lies in stepping out of the pure mathematics mindset, embracing communication as being just as important to math as communication. Now, once communication is accepted as important, this opens new venues where the new trustees can be exercised. For example, how students create a web page detailing what systems of linear equations are, why they are important, and the technique for solving them. Alternatively, we can create Poster infographics that explain the same things. The exact same strategies can apply to nearly any of the subject and any topic. So this means that as a teacher, we should think multidisciplinary. We should create. Uh, we should think critically in order for our students to learn. And one way of that is to teach them how to use multidisciplinary aspects in our subject. For example, so in so here, the example would be the mathematics subject, so wherein the students will be able to create a web page that will um, de that will de um, that will detail the systems of linear equations, what, how, why are they important, and what are the techniques for solving them. For sure, there are techniques because it is very easy if you know the techniques in mathematics. So that's one way of uh, teaching them. And that's a very good idea to think multidisciplinary in order to solve different things or different issues in the ACS way possible. And so, other one, also, other example would be you could, you could create poster infographics that explain the same things because not all learners are really into mathematics, are not really good in mathematics. And so, therefore, if you assign them to create a poster infographics and it's very easy for them to identify what are the process, what are the procedure in or what are the solutions that would be fitted or that would be easily understood by anyone. So that's what we call we should think multidisciplinary as a future teacher or an educator. And so next is explore motivations, not just messages. While it is very important that students learn what is the message being communicated by any media text, it is also important to develop in them a habit for asking if the message being communicated in the first place. The objective here is not so much to find the correct answers, but rather to develop a habit of asking these questions. So as a teacher, we should allow our students to ask us to ask us some certain questions that would really make them understood what is really being meant by this kind of discussion or what this topic or what are the things that are not really that they, that they didn't clearly understood or they didn't clearly understand and how we are going to solve those. So we should encourage them to ask questions at the end of or during or after your discussion in order to clarify the things, make some comments, suggestions or recommendations that would enable them to motivate more and to make your learning better. And next is the different skills that students already have. So it is always surprising how much a person can do when they are personally and effectively motivated to do so. In other words, a person can do amazing things when they really want to. So students can produce remarkably well researched output for things they are deeply interested in even without instruction, harnessing this natural desire to explore whatever interests them will go a long way in improving media and digital literacy education in your classroom. So as a teacher, you should always be able to... So, in addition to what I've said earlier, what I have said earlier, it's very important to acknowledge their previous skills that our students already have so that we would be able to focus on the next Step that we are supposed to teach, and if our if we are going to give them tasks or 
um, project if they are really interested into it and they already have their previous skills they will be able to do it on their own if they are really interested into it and so without further instruction they could create a better outcome or a better result out of it and so their desire to explore those things or that that interest them whatever those those things are they could be able to um create a better output at the end of the day but or however however as a teacher we should always improve our media and digital literacy in the classroom especially in educating your, your students how to nav navigate manipulate or use those uh, media platforms that are necessary for them to be able to conduct or to to produce those output or tasks at the end of the day so as a future teacher we should always guide them not just always instruct them step by step but let them do because they already have those skills if they are really um, interested into that specific uh, area they could be able to do it on their own so without further instruction they could really provide us a competent and a well um, disturbed performance so that would be all thank you god this is all and have a nice day thank you so much